Hey everyone, welcome to Princess of Gay. I'm your host, Connie, and today we are here with One Piece. That's right, we are back. It has been just about four months, like just under four months, because the last time we reacted to One Piece was at the very beginning of October. And it's wild to think that it's been this long. It's absolutely wild. Um, as you know, I took a break from One Piece simply because I felt like I wasn't at the point where I was going to have burnout, but I was worried that I could. I, I was worried that with as long as I've been reacting to it, as strong as I've been reacting to it, it was a mainstay on the channel. I was worried that I could get burnout. Plus, I wanted to get to some other stuff, such as um, Total Drama. And I think that I've waited long enough. My initial plan, as you know, was to bring it back when Film Red came to streaming. So I could do like an entire One Piece week. I, 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 I catch up on episodes. I maybe do a couple top 10 videos or something. And I react to the film. But we still don't know when it's coming out. It's like the end of January and we still don't know when Film Red is coming to streaming. And it's like... I would think it would be before the Anime Awards, considering it's like it's on the Anime Awards. It's like mul there's multiple awards for it, and yet it's like some people just have not been able to see it. It's like you expect people to vote for something that they've not been able to see because they weren't able to go to theaters or, or whatnot when it was in theaters for a very limited time in limited theaters. It's like, come on. It's not on Streamia. It's not on Crunchyroll. We can't react to it. So, because of that, because it's taking who knows how long at this point, I've decided we're just going to get back into this. We're not waiting anymore. Because I, I do want to get back to it. Um, now, there's like 13, 14 episodes to catch up on. Because uh, as of recording this um it is up to episode 1049 that was the most recently released episode this past weekend um so we're obviously not getting to all of those episodes today but we are going to be doing a number of episodes you'll see it in the title obviously but uh as of recording this i don't know exactly how many we're going to do today it's we're just going to kind of play it by ear and just see it's definitely going to be multiple episodes though i'm just going to kind of like go until i feel like i'm good <laughs> you know and i i think that that's going to be a good idea here now we left off on a pretty harrowing episode um Kanjiro stabbed kiku Kinemon defeated and hopefully killed Kanjiro. Kaido's here. Luffy is supposedly defeated, even though we know that's not the case. Shit's going down. And yeah, it, it's, it's definitely something I want to catch up on because of where we left off. But another reason is also because... Uh, I watch Rough Senpai's reactions, and I watch him on Patreon specifically. Um, and I'm in the tier on Patreon to where I basically see the episodes as he puts them up. As he records them, practically. And because of that, he is... He's already getting to where I was. I, like, I think his most recent one he put up was like 10... It was up to 10.30 or 10.31 or something like that. The point is, he's catching up really quickly to where I left off. So in order to continue watching his videos, which I very much want to do, I have to, uh, and I'm not even caught up with his videos, I'm a few behind, but in order to, when I get caught up and get to that point, I have to be able to, you know, get to more. So, yeah, we're doing this. And I this is not being officially put on the schedule. Like, you're not going to see it on the uh, channel banner, for example, for now. Um, it's not going to be put on the official schedule until we catch up. Once we're caught up, it'll be added back to the schedule officially. But until then, it's going to kind of be just a whenever sort of thing. It's, it, it's 
gonna be pretty much like uh probably similar in i guess to a movie reaction or maybe um just um reactions to like youtube stuff or whatnot where it's gonna be just completely sporadic and just whenever i am up for it but it's not gonna like take over the place of other stuff so it's like I'm I'm not going to preempt it over the actual stuff that's that we have on our schedule. Um, only if I find the time basically to be able to get to this as well. Um, and, and like I said, we'll just do as many episodes as I feel works, and kind of go from there. Um. But yeah, once it does come up back onto the schedule, I don't know if I'm going to, um, I don't know if I'm going to, uh, how do I put it, add a slot or if I'm just going to like replace a slot. I, I don't know yet. Um, cause I, I cut it down to six slots just recently for a reason, but a weekly show where it's one episode at a time might be a little more doable, um, than other stuff to add a seventh slot back to. I, I don't know. It's going to depend on how things go because there's other stuff coming up in the near future too, like uh, Ruby Volume 9 is coming in the uh, middle of February. So it's like I, I've got to keep spots available and open, but at the same time, it's like, you know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. If I need to add that seventh slot back, I think I'll be able to for like one thing a week. Um, because that, that'll be easy enough to, you know, m m find the motivation for. <laughs> um, but obviously we'll tackle that when we get to it. For the time being, uh, <sighs> excuse me, for the time being, we're just going to see where this goes. We're going to see what happens, hope for the best. So, yeah, um, and we'll watch the recap to get a better feel for what happened last time, just to, you know, refresh our memories. Um, but I think this is. Let me let me check for sure. I can check on my uh, on my YouTube Studio because I have the One Piece uh, thing up here. Yeah, this was before we even uh, switched over to the Princess of Gay rebrand. So I have not reacted to One Piece since before this channel rebranded to princess of gay so this is the first one piece for princess of gay as a channel funny enough um which is really interesting um and, and i'm definitely uh definitely hoping that we get some good episodes here to bring us into the uh into the series again in style i have been very much missing this series and I have been avoiding spoilers as much as I can, by the way. Um, but there are a couple things that have slipped slipped out. And I, I, I've kind of said it before, but because One Piece fans are so shit in, when it comes to spoilers, like, they, they just do not give a shit. Um, what I have been doing has been basically, I, I avoid spoilers as much as I can, but if I end up seeing something, I'm just going to like, okay, whatever. At this point, it's like, I'm not going to be as upset with it, but that's obviously, I, I don't want to see them, but it's just like, with One Piece, it's like, I'm going to see it. I'm going to end up seeing spoilers. Um, I've seen spoilers for the next arc, <laughs> um, because the manga's in the next arc. It's not in Wano anymore. Um, so I already know some shit from that, and it's like, ay, ay, ay. <laughs> But it's it, again, it's just unfortunately One Piece fans fucking suck when it comes to spoilers. But yeah, either way, um, we're just going to get to this. Um, while there's a few things I know here and there, it's like I don't know all the context. And a lot of it will still be like a surprise to me, especially actually, you know, seeing it myself. Um, but let's get this going. So when the screen fades to black, pause this redirect and go to the description below. Following to the reaction, and after you watch it, come back here to the redirect and resume play. Because after it fades to black, then it fades back in. Everything for that point forward will be my afterthoughts and will contain spoilers to the episodes. So, that being said, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you at the reaction.
And we are back and we'll begin with spoilers in three, two, one, now. So, I'm obviously not going to be able to talk about everything from these episodes. Um, there is just it, it, too much. Uh, we reacted to four episodes here, so. But I'll talk about as much as I can. So, we had a lot of stuff go down. Momo and Shinobu ended up getting chased. Kinemon was defeated, but I really doubt he's dead. Um, for a lot of reasons. Uh, but Momo and Shinobu were chased by Kaido and ended up getting knocked off of Onigashima into the sea. Well, they would have gone into the sea, but Shinobu saved them with her glider and got them to safety. Luffy, who had already fallen to sea, was rescued by the Polar Tang and the Heart Pirates. Um, I, I somehow didn't even think of them. Like, I'm thinking, like, someone has to go rescue him. My, my thought actually went to Yamato. <laughs> I'm like, okay, he, 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 oh, wait, but no, that wouldn't work. Shit. <laughs> I just thought of that. That wouldn't have even worked anyway. Because we saw before that Yamato is clearly a devil fruit user. We, we saw a glimpse, a, a very small little hint, um, back when he was, uh, fighting Sasaki with Frankie briefly. Um, we saw a very brief glimpse of him, uh, about to go devil fruit form um whatever it is um but yeah <laughs> so that wouldn't actually work because he can't swim either <laughs> oh well so much for that plan um but either way um luffy was saved no matter what he just needs some time to rest probably some meat he'll be good he'll be fine yamato meanwhile is challenging his father um, so they're, they're starting to fight, although we only saw a brief glimpse of that. Um, we, we see, like, a little tiny bit of, of other fights, uh, especially, and most notably, um, Jinbei versus Who's Who, where at the end here, we find out that when he was a member of CP9, Who's Who, uh, was on a ship that was raided by the Red Hair Pirates, and that Shanks and them stole the gum gum fruit that they were uh, transporting. And so uh, that mistake, that blunder, apparently cost um, apparently cost uh, who's who his job, and uh, apparently he was sent to prison for like Jesus. Um, but that that raises a few questions why why was he sent to prison uh i believe it i believe it said it was impel down for that because that seems like more on, on the red-haired pirates doesn't it the only thing i can think of is that the gum gum fruit is a lot more powerful than we realize because that's the only that's the only real thing that you could think of with that like wh what there what else would be the reason the gum gum fruit would have to be more powerful than we realize and on top of that the government must have wanted it for some reason maybe for someone specific to eat it or maybe they wanted to lock it away or something i don't know either way if he's going to get imprisoned over that incident it's got to be a big deal um, and so that explains why he has it out for Jinbei, because he has it out for Luffy and them, and Jinbei is a member of the crew. So, yeah, because Luffy ate the gum gum fruit, he's got that vendetta because of his past. Even though, as he said, he's in a good place now, but, you know, he, he struggled to get there. Um... So that's really interesting. Um, I wonder if we're going to get more on that right away, or if they're going to they're going to wait, make us wait a little bit. Um, I guess we'll have to wait and see. But the big highlight of this um, of this set of episodes was Nami, Usopp, and Tama. Um, so not they're running around and end up coming across uh, Bao Huang and the other uh, gifter who was with her. 
Um, they're about to attack when Ulti suddenly comes back into play. Um, but thanks to Zeus being in the climb attack now, Nami is able to seemingly permanently incapacitate Ulti. Like the title said fatal, and it's like is she is she actually dead? Is that what it's trying to tell us? <laughs> um honestly with how strong that attack was maybe and how damaged she already was, especially internally. But wow. But more importantly, they managed to uh knock down the one dude and uh capture Bao Wang so Tama can get her message out and God Tama just owned this. Like her being able to get that message out and turn the tide of the war by having all the gifters that they uh, fed the Kibidango to uh, turn to their side is just, it, it's a huge turning point. Like I said in the reaction, I am so happy that Tama gets to be a major po po part of this battle. She's, she's a kid, she can't do much like actual fighting, so they have her use her Devil Fruit ability instead in order to have a part in this and to join the battle, to join the fight and save Wano. She's just as important to this as anyone else there. Just as important as, um, as Boss Hio, just as important as the Straw Hats, as the Akasai and I, and as Yamato. All of them share the importance in this war and all of them are equally valuable. They are all needed to take down Kaido and the Beast Pirates. And Tama is definitely there as well. She is exceptionally important. The numbers game was a big issue. Like that was, there was no getting around that. But the fact that she's able to turn the tides that much by, you know, just using her ability and, you know, tricking the gifters into eating it through either Usopp slingshotting it in their mouths or Horselina um, tricking them into thinking it was from Queen or, or so on and so forth. It's like, yeah, it's brilliant. It's wonderful. And it's like, hell yeah. Just completely changes things. Um, we also get to see uh, the half-beast form of Queen and see more of him as a cyborg. We we get confirmation that he was a uh, scientist working with Judge and everything in Mads. And so, yeah. We're going to definitely hear more about that. Um, but I like how he, he like has this big announcement. Like, I'm a cyborg. It's, and Sanji's like, yeah, we already figured that out. <laughs> it's like it wasn't really a secret. <laughs> like, we, we've had Frankie for so long in this series it's like yeah we know what a cyborg looks like <laughs> um but yeah it's just th these episodes were really great there was some amazing animation at points too like the stuff surrounding when tama makes her announcement was really well animated when uh yamato challenges kaido and they start their fight oh my god that animation was fucking gorgeous it was so fluid and beautiful like, Jesus, fuck. <laughs> and, and we know there's going to be more of that on the way, because we've already had plenty of it during this raid, and just during the, the, the arc in general. So, yeah. I, I'm very excited to get back into this. I'm so happy that after nearly four months away from this series, I can just really get back into this series. I did not need to, see, need to say series again there. That was redundant. But I can really get back into this and enjoy it uh, just as much, if not more. Um, like, I, like I said, I might not have really needed that break. Like, I, I don't think I was, like, really about to get, like, burned out or anything. I was just worried that maybe I could because I had been reacting to it for so long. And so I decided to take a break for a little bit, come back to it feeling more refreshed than ever. And yeah, it's, it, it feels good. I, I am very, very invested, very ready to get back into this. And like I said, part of it's also because of Rough Senpai catching up on his Patreon, and I want to be able to like continue to watch his videos. 
part of it's also just because I don't want to wait for Film Red anymore. It's like, I don't know when that's coming to streaming, um, but when it eventually does, of course, we'll react to it. Uh, we'll still probably have a One Piece week. It's just, it's probably going to be just uh, a couple other things, um, like top tens or whatnot, maybe a tier list or two. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll do that kind of thing instead of, uh, instead of, uh, just doing reactions because we'll be caught up again by that point, I'm sure. Because again, we still haven't heard anything about when that's supposed to come to streaming. And apparently it took a long time for Jujutsu Kaisen Zero to come to streaming, so, yeah. But when it does, we'll get to that and we'll get to the special episodes that we skipped before the film red tie-in episodes but yeah like i said for the time being let me know what you thought of the these four episodes in the comments below and for now i'm connie and i'm signing off see y'all next time